because of this potential. At least one of the potential you are familiar with that. Also gravitational field, huh? Gravitational field. Except the quantum mechanics, always you can use the potential theory. So this is a classical theory, actually. Potential theory is classical. And it is started by the work of legend, actually. Before the legend, uh, Laplace. So Laplace was the first person who talked about around these years. Around, who was the first person who talked about the concept of the potential. And also the Newton. Newton, and later potential theory used by the Bernoulli's brothers in the fluid mechanics. You need to know the history also because it's, it's very useful. And after that, the Lejeune was the person who made it unified. So we have the unified theory for potential theory because of the Lejeune. He was a lot of, he did a lot of interesting work about the potential theory. And it continues till today. So, when it starts, so potential theory started from the vector calculus. So last two lectures was about the vector calculus, if you remember. So, we talked about the vector fields. F. So, as a function of the coordinate of the space, I make the I make the notation easier and easier. I don't use the notation of x i or x j or something like that, because almost all the problem which I, I write here they are in the normal coordinate like x y z happen. For example, fluid mechanics is the is the question about the dynamics of the fluids. So it's always referred to the coordinate x, y, z, or t at the time of t. So this is a vector field. So, and if you remember, we introduced the derivative for the vector field, mainly two vector field, two type of the derivative was very important. The one is the cross product or vector product of the, this, this vector field. And I don't know. I don't remember that I talk about how to calculate the this actually the curl or not. If you just focus on the uh, normal coordinate, Cartesian coordinate, so there is an easy way to find the 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 component of the curl vector. And the, the, the way is that just you calculate this determinant. So by the elementary waves, you can calculate this determinant and find the, the component of the curl vector. And minus j and it is plus. So potential theory started from this equation. Which vector fills have the curl zero. So we are looking for the vector fields which the curl are zero. These vector fields are called irrotational or conserved vector fields. Following this equation, you can introduce the scalar potential. as a function of the R and the T. This is a one way I define the potential. Second way is that you can define the vector potential if you consider the another type of the vector fields. The vector fields is called source free or they call it divergence less. But I will start from here. So the solution for this equation gives you the potential vector. We need to remember and a vector identity
just if you write the component of the gradient and set the component here, you can easily show that the curl of gradient will be zero. So it will be just i, j, k, partial x, partial y, and the component of the potential vector will be phi y. y. If you just expand that, you can see that that will be zero. But the condition is that this, vector, this function should satisfy a type of the exchange or interchange condition. Otherwise, you cannot have this determinant to be zero. Here, scalar potential or vector? No, scalar potential. So from here, you will get the scalar potential. Starting point to define the stellar potential is for the rotational vector fields. Do all the functions satisfy this condition or not? No. Only the function which be only the function which are continuous or piecewise continuous and differentiable. Only those functions can satisfy this condition. <coughs> Remember that if you look at these equations, the curl of the gradient is zero, but curl of minus gradient is also zero. So you have a two solution for that. So you have a two possibility for your vector field the f. Hmm? So f will be plus minus gradient of the functions. And that's up to you to choose the plus or minus. Normally, in physics, we are interesting to consider the phenomena which are running from higher level of potential, yes? Of potential to the lower level. So you can check in any fundamental books, physics books. So you will see that, for example, that's the guarantee by the minus. So minus will be supported this idea. If you find another universe, and in this universe, the phenomena are going to happen from the lower level of potential to the higher, you need to choose the plus. It means that you find another planet, and the gravity is working in the opposite direction of what is working here. Yeah. If you find that the gravity in the opposite direction, you need it to have the sign plus. But I never talked about you to you that how to find the fee. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a there is a two way actually to find the fee. One is that if you have the vector f, you can just multiply this vector field the lane element if this is a coordinate system so you can define a lane element around uh, some path and by that you can find you can find the difference of potential between two points you are familiar with that from classical mechanics and also from electromagnetism in electrostatic, for example, or in classical mechanics, f dot dr, don't think f is the force, any vector field. f dot dr gives you the, the total work which you need to do to move the particle from point A to B. Again, from the basic mathematics, you can see that gradient dot dr will be d phi the partial derivative of x, d x plus partial derivative of this, partial derivative of this. So you get dFe minus f dot dr. So if you fix for me the reference point, I can make integration here. You needed to fix for me the reference point. After that, I can make integration for you. And by this integration, 
you can find the difference of the potential between the arbitrary point and the reference point. So here are, I expected most of this information you read it before, but the topic will be in the advanced level. It goes in the advanced level as you will see. So by this integration, you can find the potential. What you do, you do in the mechanics or you do in electrostatics. They give you the electric field and you can find the potential. But this is not my target. My target is that this vector field F, we have more information about that. So normally we know that the, the field is rotational and also we know that so more information about F we have. As you remember, curl F should be zero. So this is the first information we have. But somebody will give you more information and say that divergence F is also zero. What does it mean? This is, it means that you have a vector field, like gravitational field, like electric field, it is irritational, so you have not any curl for that. And this is a divergence free or divergence less, divergence less or source free. Yeah. Which, which field do you know that which satisfy both of these equations? For example, this field. This field. R over R cubic. If you just replace that in the equation for the curl, you can easily see that curl F will be, just try to calculate that by the normal Cartesian coordinate. What is the coordinate component of X? This is X. What is the component Y? It is Y. Z. And just be a little bit patient. R is X squared plus Y squared. Be a little bit patient and just take the derivative. You will see that that's zero. No any advanced mathematics. You just take the derivative from that. And also take the divergence of that. You know how was the divergence was partial x x plus partial y y plus partial z z. And just as I told you, just be patient and try to calculate that. So you will see that the partial divergence of that will be also zero. But except one point, all this calculation should be done when R is not zero. When you are near the X zero, Y zero, and Z zero, you know it's a problem happen is that the R tends to the zero. So this component, uh, this quantity becomes infinite. So this calculation should be done before, except the, the R0. So for such vector fields, when they are irrotational and divergenceless or source-free, there is another strategy to find the field. There is another strategy to find the field. From the first equation, curl F0, we find minus gradient M field. And you have the, the another equation, divergence of F0. So you can write divergence and just replace it the F here, minus gradient M field, zero. So you find the equation like divergence gradient phi zero, divergence gradient phi zero. This equation called it Law plus equation. Potential theory is finding the solution of this equation. If you can solve the law plus equation, finding the solution, solution for 
log plus a quotient, it means that you you find your vector field and you, you, you are working the potential too. So you have a different geometries and to describe the different geometry you need different coordinates. Hmm? For example, sometimes this equation is used is used to consider the motion of the fluid or a, a flat channel, for example, like that, or sea waves, yep. ocean waves, for example, ocean waves. So this is actually a two-dimensional system. So you needed to use an appropriate set of the coordinate. I mean, sometimes x, y, and z are not useful for you to find the the solution for that. You need to change your coordinate system. Or well, sometimes you have a you have a tube, for example, like that. And the fluid or electric field are moving inside the disk. So you see that here the the normal coordinate system are not useful. So you needed a new type of the coordinate system. The coordinate system. Coordinates. So choosing the best coordinate is a big problem. It is show that. This equation can be solved in 14 orthogonal coordinate system. This is will be one of our next lectures after I little bit explain how to solve this equation and you learn the technique of the green functions and the using the integration representation, we will pass to find the, the appropriate coordinate systems. For example, to solve the problem of the, I told you, the fluid in this system or different channel, you needed to choose the, your appropriate coordinate system. So coordinate system, choosing the coordinate system is, is one of our main tasks. So, so you can ask a question anytime. So I want to so we will study the solution of this approach. Is it possible to find an equations when the vector field is irritational but you have a source? Yes. I mean, if you have a vector field with curl is zero and divergence is not zero, this is we can call it the source, source field, source function. It is possible to little bit modify this equation and start the potential theory from a new equation. If the curl is zero as as we mentioned before, so you can have the f as a minus gradient of phi and just replace it minus gradient of phi here, so you will have minus Laplacian phi four pi where r. So you find the equation is very similar to the very uh, similar to the Laplace equation, but you have a source term. Source term. Is it any relation between the solution of this equation and this equation? Yes, there is. If you find the solution of Laplace equation, you can find the solution of the second equation. This second equation is called, you know what's that? Poisson equation. You will see this equation in the different area of the physics. For example, you will see that in the electromagnetism, if you consider rho as a density of the charge. 
you will see. How are they related? This gives a good brain condition because you know, how it's related to The solution will be related to each other. You will see that how. <laughs> I will start from here. Now I will try to explain you how to solve the Poisson equation and how to solve the Laplace equation. So, not only the Laplace equation is important for the potential theory, a more general class of the